Can you guys tell tell us your names? I'm Sophia. Hi, Sophia. I'm Sarah. Sarah. We're from Canada, Toronto, Canada. Hello, Canada. <laughs> I am Carmine from uh, Italy. Awesome, Italy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> We need more Italian laborers here. Because the Italians are good with stone, yeah? Yeah. Oh, we have a lot of site, archaeological sites in Italy, but it's not find, find, easy to find uh, the possibility to work as uh, an uh, amateur, like, to, to be here. And you have, I think there is a pyramid or two in Italy too, yes? Yes, I heard about that, but I didn't know much about it. Really, it's uh, even hard to find news about the pyramid in Italy. Yes, well, there's a site called European Pyramids by Gabriela Lukacs, mm -hmm. L-U-K-A-C-S. I don't really know how you pronounce it, but she has all the pyramids in Europe. It's fantastic. How many pyramids there are, nobody knows about this. Yeah. And, and the U.S., US the Cahokia Pyramids. Yeah. And they never told me about the Cahokia Pyramids. I had to come to Bosnia to find out from Semir that there are pyramids in my own country. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know? Exactly. Say again? What, what state are uh, they're in southern Illinois. And there's also uh, the possibility of Alexander the Great's uh, burial site in southern Illinois, too. And if you search on Facebook, um, the Illinois Caves, just search Illinois Caves, and there are these two amazing guys. Oh, wow. okay. So it's like a real incredible place, southern Illinois. Great, well, I'm going to go check out this other laborer, okay. this other volunteer right. up here. Hello! Hello, I'm going to the shadow. The to the shade, shadow. to the shade. Or, well, it's really the shadow too, yeah, it's the shadow. Hello! Just How, how's it going? I'm just going fine, very fine. And you've been working? I've been working, taking the garden off, the grasses of the garden. Ah, the, gra the weeds and the grass off the pyramid. Yes, I like in my garden but I like I do caress the hearse. It's nice. like caressing the hearse and I'm happy nice. to do it. It's very steep on this thing isn't it? It's steep. hard to hard steep. Oh yes it is it's uh, difficult for the legs yeah but I feel blessed to be <laughs> at the shade and not to dig very <laughs> heavy so I'm just at the right place at the right moment. Good. I'm very happy to do that. Good. Help. Thank you. Helping. You have been knowing so many things being here. You are blessed too. Yes. I wake up every day and look at gargantuan pyramids and I wonder how could they be so big every day. Because I never can quite comprehend how big they are every day. Yeah. It's amazing they were not known before. I know. It's just a it's just a mountain. It's just a hill. Different kinds of concrete. So underneath, there's this kind of concrete, and then there was a facing stone kind of concrete here to make it. I don't know if it's to make it look nice or, to, or for some energy purposes. I'm pro I'm pr probably, it's probably for some energy purposes. So you got this layer of facing, you know, nicer concrete on top of the knobby concrete. It's interesting. Very interesting. I didn't notice that for a long time. And how I could not notice that, I don't know. But that's the way it is. Another piece of nicer concrete here. The UK contingent talks about K2 and K3. We should have an honorary megalith for UK. That's what I think. Oh, conveyor belts. Dump chutes or whatever you call them. Dump 
Yes, but uh, then who's going to fund that? Is, are the volunteers going to fund our conveyor belt? Volunteers have had ideas about crazy things. Like they've had an idea to put a cable car here or a ski lift or whatever you call it. A ski lift, nice. Yeah. And one of those tubes that you uh, yeah. throw the. So, you know when you're renovating your house? I just had my house. Oh, there, yeah. See? So one of those tubes, you just throw it there yeah, in the bucket. Idea. That's a smart idea. Straight down to the bottom. That's and a, a conveyor smart belt in the in the cave. Hmm. But a tube. The the weather. I wonder if we could make a tube easily or if it would be a huge expense and problem. If it's an expense thing, I personally will provide a provide a tube. I will send if, this video if, to Samir today. <laughs> <laughs> no, if it, if, it, if it will actually help, which I think it will in this particular situation. Uh, yeah, I'll nice. go home, We've order some. written a donations letter for equipment. So I don't think they mentioned the conveyor belt in there. <laughs> a ski, or a ski lift. <laughs> I should have put it on the wall. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I gotta see this toss. Ooh, nice. That's what we love. What? Do you guys need water? Uh, no, I'm good. Little by little. Yeah, little by little. Because we've had volunteers since 2010, so there's so many people have already contributed, and little yeah. by little, each group yeah. makes their mark, you know. Looking how long time is needed to clean this area. Yeah. Looking all the others, <laughs> you can imagine how many people have needed. I know, I know, it's a huge, huge amount of concrete. Yeah. And it, will, it would take hundreds of years to clean this one pyramid. Yeah. But I don't think he's he's going to try to do that because there's no reason to clean the whole thing as far as I know. Yeah, well, for sure. Maybe it's not the case, but <laughs> you have to select the right place where you have to uh, dig. Yes, a nice excavation site. Yeah.